Ten for this one. Uh, Damar, on behalf of the uh, local chapter of Pro Football Writers of America, we'd like to present you with the Good Guy Award for being the player that's most... Uh... If you're new here and want to catch up on more videos like this in the future, then go ahead and smash that red subscribe button right now. Hey there guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. In NFL history, many players have come and gone. And throughout the years with their excellent performance, something that also stood out was the extraordinary heights of many players. And when we mean height, we're talking about how tall they are and not necessarily their achievements. Just clearing that up. That aside, there were just far too many players to list down, so we've narrowed the list in a top 10 format. These are the tallest players in NFL history, and that in and of itself is a, no pun intended, big achievement. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in. Number 10, Richard Sly. Richard Ellis Sly was an American football player who had played for the American Football League's Oakland Raiders. His passion for the game blossomed when he started playing collegiately at North Carolina Central University between 1962 to 1964. After this, he was chosen in the 10th round of the 1967 NFL-AFL Draft, and he was a defensive tackle of the team. He was only able to play 8 games throughout his time in the league. After the Raiders fell to the Green Bay Packers, he was chosen by the expansion Cincinnati Bengals in the AFL Allocation Draft. However, he was waived just before the regular season. He was 7 foot tall, so he wasn't only the tallest player in NFL history, but also the overall professional football history. Number 9. Dan Skipper Dan Skipper played for the Detroit Lions of the NFL in the position of the offensive tackle. He started playing football in Ralston Valley High School and continued playing after his admission to the University of Arkansas. Even though he played on the collegiate level, his professional career started afterward when he was signed as an undrafted free agent by the Dallas Cowboys in May 2017. In September 2017, he joined the Detroit Lions practice squad and after he was released in 2018, he was then signed to the Denver Broncos practice squad. In 2019, he joined the New England Patriots and Houston Texans practice squads and then he was again welcomed into the Detroit Lions. He's among the tallest and his height is 6 foot 9 and 5 8 inches. Number 8, Morris Stroud. Morris Stroud is believed to be the tallest tight end and the second tallest player overall in the history of the NFL. His sports credit started when he was a student at Clark Atlanta University. His introduction to sports, however, was through basketball when he was a center and power forward on the Panthers basketball team. Chiefs head coach Hank Stram selected him in the third round of the 1969 NFL Draft even though he had no prior blocked field goals. He was 6 foot 10 inch tall, so he had an impressive height to him. Number 7, DeMar Dotson. DeMar Dotson was the offensive tackle for the Denver Broncos of the NFL. His professional career started when he was signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after he was undrafted in the 2009 NFL Draft. In 2012, he re-signed a two-year deal with Tampa Bay, after which in 2013, he got a four-year contract extension. He had played 12 games as the right tackle, and then, due to some injuries, he was placed on reserve in 2017. In August 2020, he was signed by the Denver Broncos. With a height of 6 foot 9 inches, he stands out easily amongst the other players. Number 6. Jonathan Ogden Yet another offensive tackle on our list is Jonathan Ogden. He was a member of the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. In the first round of the 1996 NFL Draft, he was selected by the Baltimore Ravens as their fourth choice. He has a lot of achievements under his belt, like being a four-time All-Pro and an 11-time Pro Bowler at left tackle. When the Ravens defeated the New York Giants 34-7 in the Super Bowl, Ogden was among the players to win a Super Bowl ring. With a height of 6 foot 9 inches, his name was always taken among the tallest players. Number 5, Ed Jones. This player is known as Ed Too Tall Jones, so it would have been just unfair if we didn't include him in our list. With a height of 6 foot 9 inches, he's now a retired football player but he had once played 15 seasons for the Dallas Cowboys in the NFL. In 1978, 
After he had helped the Cowboys win the Super Bowl in 1977, he decided to leave football for boxing, but he was back at it again in the 1980 season as the defensive end. He won All-Pro and Pro Bowl three times. Number 4. Alejandro Villanueva Alejandro Villanueva is the offensive tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL. Before football, he was the captain of the United States Army and earned a Bronze Star for Valor. He was first signed by the Philadelphia Eagles, but he was later cut from the team. Then he was immediately signed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. In 2015, he signed a two-year contract with them, and then in 2017, he signed a four-year $24 million contract extension. With a height of 6 foot and 9 inches, his performance is recognized amongst many in the NFL. Number 3. Marcus Hunt Marcus Hunt, a professional Estonian football player, played as the defensive end for the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFL. With a height of 6 foot and 8 inches, he has established himself as quite the player in NFL history. He was selected in the second draft of the 2013 NFL Draft and he was the 53rd overall pick. Apart from the NFL, he had also signed a two-year contract with the Indianapolis Colts and another one-year contract with the New Orleans Saints. Then he was signed again for a second stint with the Cincinnati Bengals. Number 2. Levine Toilolo Levine Joseph Toilolo plays for the New York Giants in the NFL as a tight end. With a height of more than 6 feet and 8 inches, he was initially selected by the Atlanta Falcons in the 4th round of the 2013 NFL Draft. Between 2013 and 2017, he would continue to play under Atlanta Falcons. Then in 2018, he signed with Detroit Lions and now in 2020, he's become a player for the New York Giants. So as you can see by his recruitment in various NFL teams that he has maintained quite an impeccable record when it comes to football. Number 1. Harold Carmichael He was a former professional football player in the NFL. With a total of 13 seasons playing with the Philadelphia Eagles and one season playing with the Dallas Cowboys. He was selected by the Eagles in the 7th round of the 1971 NFL Draft. Harold Carmichael was also selected in the NFL 1970s All-Decade Team. He's earned 4 Pro Bowls during his whole NFL career. And with that, he's given the title of one of the tallest football players at the height of 6 foot 8 inches. There's still many football players that I haven't gone about as I had to narrow a couple of them down, but it is truly impressive to see how these players were able to maintain such a build. How much their heights influenced their gameplay, it couldn't be said, but it does make them strong competition for the opposing team players. And that about wraps up this video which we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, do let us know your thoughts in the comments below about your favorite tallest NFL player while also hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel to catch up on more videos like this one in the future. And if you're craving more content now, then give those two videos on your screen a look. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.